Hello everybody. God bless you for watching. God bless you for watching. Feel free to share this video. Invite your friends and your family members so they can watch and be blessed. Let's just worship the Lord before we start. Let's just worship the Lord. Thank Him for life. Thank Him for everything He has done for you. Speak in tongues wherever you are. Pray in the Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now. As I watch this video, I want to feel your presence so strong. Take over me right now. There is power in the name of Jesus. Just worship the Lord. The presence of God is here. The power of the Holy Ghost will come over all of you watching it. Watching this video. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Fight my battles for me. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Fight my battles for me. Ha! Rapare Bobo sitting in the Bosata. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Break every chains in my life. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Deliver me from bondage. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now. In the name of Jesus. And watch what will happen to you. Rabbi sent in the Yes, Holy Spirit. Fight my battles for me. Yay! Really, Baba the Holy Spirit is the power of God it's the power of God a lot of you here are filled with the Holy Ghost but you don't know the importance of being filled with the Holy Ghost it is because you now have power you have the Holy Ghost for so many things, but the most important is power. He's giving you power. How can you have the Holy Ghost and you are afraid? Do you know how powerful the Holy Ghost is? He is the one that fights your battle. He is the one that destroys that witch with fire. He is the power of God. Rabba Sontin in the name. Rakade Baba Baba Sitin in the name. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take over me right now. Say it. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Fight my battles for me. I am tired of doing it by myself. Fight my battles for me. Destroy that witch for me. Remove that mountain for me. Open that door for me. In the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you want the Holy Spirit to do for you. Begin to ask right now. Begin to ask right now. Begin to ask right now. Holy Spirit. Fix my marriage for me. Ready my womb for me. Help me pass that exam. Get me a job. Repolable souls in it. What is it that you want? Ask the Holy Spirit. Is anybody tormenting you? Say, Holy Spirit, 
destroy by fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I have a message for you. I have a message for you. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this all day. <laughs> Holy Spirit, calm my husband down. Has your husband been beating you up? Been acting a certain way? Tell the Holy Spirit to calm him down. Do you have somebody in your family that has mental problems? Holy Spirit, remove that mental illness from that person. Holy Spirit, destroy that witch that is trying to kill me. The Holy Spirit is the power of God. The Holy Spirit is powerful. You have the Holy Spirit in you. That means you have power in you. Jesus says, I have given you power to trade upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, over all the works of the enemy. He said, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Do you know what power he is talking about? He is talking about the Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit that you have in you. Hey! Tell yourself, I have the power of the Holy Ghost in me. Type that. I have the power of the Holy Ghost in me. I have the power of the Holy Ghost in me. I have the power of the Holy Ghost in me. When you have the Holy Ghost in you, why are you afraid? Why are you afraid of a small witch? Do you know the power that you have inside of you is the same power that raised Jesus from the dead? Do you know it was the Holy Ghost that raised Jesus from the dead? You have that same power residing in you. That means you are very powerful. Do you know that? All of you watching me. Be filled with the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost will take over you right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So strong. I love talking about the Holy Ghost. I just love talking about the Holy Ghost. I am all about the Holy Ghost. If you've been following me from day one, it's been about the Holy Ghost. All the prayers, everything I pray in the name of Jesus. It is the power of the Holy Ghost that makes it happen. The power of God. That is the Spirit of God, which is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost. Today he was telling me. He said, tell the people on the prayer line. Tell them to pray this prayer point. Holy Ghost, fight my battles. We have been praying that all day. I heard it so clear, I had to write it down. And he gave me some scriptures. He says he is the one that fights the battles. We ask God in the name of Jesus. And he does the fighting. The Holy Ghost goes and destroy things. He tells me. He said. Do you remember when you pray. For people. That they have voodoo planted in their houses or compound. For the thing to be dug out of the ground. And one lady testified. That they, they found voodoo dug out from the ground. They found a hole. He said. I did that. It was him. It was his power. The power of the Holy Ghost. That put the hole in the ground. He said, do you remember when you prayed and those witches were dying? I was the one that fought. You asked in the name of Jesus and God sent me, the Holy Ghost, to go fight. Because I am the power of God. This is what he was telling me today. Did you know this before? Ratinable, shantinable, shantinable. Did you know this before? Everybody type this. Holy Ghost, fight 
my battles for me. Holy Ghost, fight my battles for me in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fight my battles for me in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fight my battles for me in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, some of you get up. Get up. Move around your house. Say, Holy Ghost, fight my battles for me in the name of Jesus. Walk around your house. Uh, speak in tongues. Uh, every battle that you have been fighting alone, he says he is ready to help you. Holy Ghost, fight my battle for me in the name of Jesus. Some witch will die today. Witches and wizards, principalities, demons, evil spirits, they shall all be consumed by fire because you have asked the Holy Ghost to take over that battle of yours. Na, 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 Santa, na, na. Walk around your house. Stop sitting down. Holy Ghost, fight my battles for me in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fight my battles for me in the name of Jesus. Rather than both, Santa. Warfare. Warfare. Fight my battles for me in the name of Jesus. That witch that has been tormenting my life, destroy her right now in the name of Jesus. That door that has been shut, open it for me in the name of Jesus. My marriage is crashing, restore it for me in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you want, tell the Holy Ghost to fight for you. They have rejected you at that workplace when you are rightfully supposed to be there. Holy Ghost. Fight my battle for me at that office. Let them call me back. Let them call me back. In the name of Jesus. Ah, whatever you want. Just ask. And it shall be done. It's because you don't ask. The Holy Ghost is inside of you. He resides in you. He is just waiting for you to make him do something. He is waiting for you to speak that word. And he is doing it. <laughs> Say, Holy Ghost, every monitoring spirit, monitoring me, destroy by fire in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, destroy every monitoring spirit. Destroy every whispering ears, every evil spirit, demonic oppression, which is the wizard. Holy Ghost, fight for me. Ah. Ah, the power of God. Did it in the Santa in the boat, Santa. Reggae down the boat, Santa in the boat, Santa in the When you say you are filled with the Holy Ghost, do you know what that means? Do you know what it means to be filled with the Holy Ghost? It means to be filled with power of God. If I tell you I am filled with the Holy Ghost, it means I am filled with the power of God. Power. Supernatural power, the highest power of all, power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. I'm not just talking about live serpents, I'm talking about spiritual serpents, spiritual dogs and cats and witches, all those people that chase you in your dream. And over every works of the enemy, it didn't say some works of the enemy, he said every single works of the enemy, he says nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. He didn't say some things will hurt you. He said, nothing. Reparable sort. I need to read the scripture for you guys. Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. Meaning the power that God, that God has given you. The power that Jesus has given you. It is bigger higher stronger than any power of the enemy so why are you afraid of the devil of that witch of that occultist of that sorcerer of that principality god is saying that he has given you a power that is higher bigger stronger than any of the powers of the enemy you have the highest of all use it tell the holy ghost to fight for ya. Repartable. He said, I give unto you. Nah. So, Pade Kandoro and Santi. I see angels all the time. I pray that God will open your eyes to see angels in the name of Jesus. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. 
and not it shall by enemies hurt you. Luke 10, 19, do you believe this scripture or do you just read it? Have you read it and understood it? It says, I give unto you power. The power that is given is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost that you have in you, that is the power of God. The Spirit of God. You have the Holy Ghost. Tell the Holy Ghost what you want Him to do for you. And it shall be done. In the name of Jesus. It said, nothing shall by any means hurt you. So what it is, what is it that is hurting you right now? What it is that is making you scared? What is it that is making you cry every day? Have you heard that you have power to take care of that situation? Ah! Have you heard that you have power to take care of that situation? Why are you crying? Have you asked the Holy Ghost to fight for you? Why are you just letting him sit there without doing what he is meant to do? He is meant to fight your battles. He said, I should tell them. He said, tell them to pray this prayer. Holy Ghost, fight my battles for me. Holy Ghost. We have prayed that prayer all day. We are going to pray throughout the three days fasting. Oh, today is just day one. It has been powerful. If you've been on that prayer line, tell them how, tell them how powerful it's been so far. Let them hear. Let them see from somebody else, not from me all the time. Tell them what you've experienced. Tell them how the power of God has been moving. People have been drunk in the Holy Ghost. People have been filled with the Holy Ghost. See, once you have the Holy Ghost in you, problem solved. Now you just tell him what you want and it shall be done. Just make sure you live a holy life. Make sure you are pure. Did you hear the name? Holy Ghost. Meaning you have to be holy too. Because God sent his Holy Ghost to you. Because you are holy. Do not grieve the Holy Ghost. Do not do anything that is not holy. As long as you are holy. You and the Holy Ghost will be best of bodies. Whatever you want. You tell the Holy Ghost. And it shall be done. I came on here a few days ago. I was telling you guys not to be drunk in wine. But be drunk with the Holy Ghost. And ask the Holy Ghost for help. And it will help you. A lot of people have sent me testimonies. Somebody said she was looking for her wallet. She couldn't find it. The Holy Spirit told her where it was. She found it. Somebody said long time ago. He had an experience. He had money in an envelope. He couldn't find it. And he just told the Holy Ghost to help him find it. Immediately the envelope dropped down from somewhere. And he almost ran out of the room. He was so scared. The Holy Spirit dropped the envelope from the closet. The Holy Spirit is real. He hears you. Somebody gave a testimony today. One of the people praying with us on the prayer line. She said she did not know what scripture to read. She did not know what scripture to read. And she told the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, help me. What scripture should I read this morning? And he told her to open her Bible. She opened her Bible. She went to Psalm 41. She read it. She came back in the evening. She picked up a different Bible. Not the same Bible. Another Bible. And she asked the Holy Spirit, help me. Tell me what to read this evening. And he told her to open the Bible. And he took her to the same Psalm 41. Two different Bibles. The same scripture. Morning and evening. Are you telling me the Holy Spirit is not listening? There is a message for her in Psalm 41. So he wants to make sure she gets the message. Holy Spirit is real. Holy Ghost is real. Even as we are doing this video. A lot of you are getting confirmation of what I am saying. A lot of you can feel his presence so strong. People have been drunk in the Holy Ghost. People have had dreams. People have, have killed people. Evil people in the dream. It's all by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. We just ask in the name of Jesus and God sends the Holy Ghost because that's his power to go take care of the work. The Holy Ghost told me today, he said the walls of Jericho, do you know how they came down? He said, I was the one that brought the walls of Jericho down. It was me that brought the walls of Jericho down. That's what the Holy Ghost told me. The dry bones. He said, I was the one that made those dry bones come back alive. I am the power of God. Holy Ghost, fight my battles for me. When you pray and fire 
You ask for Holy Ghost fire to consume them. What do you think happens? The Holy Ghost takes care of it right away. Why are you crying when you have the Holy Ghost? Why are you still depressed when you are filled with power? You can command that spirit of depression to get out of you right now. Hey! What is that thing that is making you cry? Command that thing to get out of you right now. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I challenge all of you to make this one prayer point. What is that thing that you have been struggling with? Pray and say, today I command you out of my life by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. What is that thing? Pray by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and it is done. You are praying for yourself, but you are asking the Holy Ghost, His power to take care of it in the name of Jesus. And I tell you, if you believe, whatever you pray for right now, it is done. Everybody has a different issue. Everybody focus on this message. If you have a prayer point, pray for yourself right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and believe it. You will come back with a testimony. I don't always have to pray for you. You have the power inside of you. He says, I have given you power. To tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall hurt you. So why are you getting hurt? Why are you sick? Why are you depressed? Why are you broke? Why is your life not going forward? You have not authorized. You have not exercised the power that you have inside of you. You have not told the Holy Ghost to fight for you. He's just sitting there waiting for you to speak the word. And it will be done. Rapali Baba Baba Sonte Nene Kasona Baba Baba Shande Go Sonde He Rasante Rebo Sante Nedendo Rohante Kantura Sonte Everybody begin to speak in tongues Speak in tongues wherever you are If you don't know how to speak in tongues You will speak in tongues today If you haven't repented If you are not filled with the Holy Ghost And you would like to be filled with the Holy Ghost Like every one of us here I want to pray for you. But before then, you have to make peace with God. You have to come to God. You have to repent. Because the Holy Spirit does not go into sinners. He doesn't go into the world. He only goes into the children of God. The people that have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. The people that are no longer sinning. The people that have repented. If you want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hey, I see you guys praying. Come on, pray that prayer with authority. By the power of the Holy Ghost, it shall be done in the name of Jesus. Say this prayer after me. If you want to give your life to God, or if you want to make peace with God, and I will pray for God to give you the Holy Ghost, you will be filled with the Holy Ghost, and you can pray some dangerous prayers today. And the Holy Ghost will fight for you. Are you not tired of living like this? Are you not tired of the same kind of life? Are you not tired of always crying every day? Don't you want a change in your life? Do you know the title of our fasting? Our three days fasting? He said, oh Lord. Please change my story. Oh Lord, please change my story. Today is day one. Today is the one. In the next maybe one hour, 30 minutes will be day two. 12 midnight. We're doing it for three days. I haven't eaten. I haven't drank any water. We've been praying. We pray four times a day. We're going to be praying again in the next one hour, 30 minutes on the prayer line. Stay on my page. Follow me. Send me a friend request. Whatever. So you can join us to pray. Even if you miss fasting today, that's fine. You can still pray with us. But things are happening. People's stories are changing. And it's all at the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Do you know my story changed the moment I got filled with the Holy Ghost? That Next day, I started preaching on Facebook. I turned overnight. I turned from a party promoter to a preacher on Facebook. It was the power of the Holy Ghost. It was when the Holy Ghost came upon me that I started to preach. Ha. You can't do anything without the power of the Holy Ghost. Even Jesus Christ was filled with the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ did not heal anybody without the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ did not... Touch anybody. They didn't cast out any demons without the Holy Ghost. I'm going to read some scriptures for you. So you can see. Ka, 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 ka. Even in the beginning. In the beginning. 
When God created heaven and earth, it was the Holy Ghost that was doing all the work. God was just commanding it. And the Holy Spirit did it. I'm going to read Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1. It said, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Are you hearing? The earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Meaning, there was no form. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, was moving upon the face of the waters. Getting ready. To do whatever God says he shall do. It was right after that. That God says. And God said let there be light. And boom there was light. Because the spirit of God took care of the light. He said. And God saw the light and it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the, the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God says. Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters. Which were under the firmament from the waters. Which were above the firmament. And, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said let there be. Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. He will say the word, let there be this. And the Holy Spirit made it so. See, God just speaks the word. God gives the command. We say, Father, Lord, please help me. Give me this job in the name of Jesus. You pray through his son. The father says, okay, job is granted. The Holy Ghost goes and gives you the job. The Holy Ghost makes it happen. In a way, you can call the Holy Ghost like a like a, a messenger, but it's the one with the power. He's the one that does things. If you ask for healing, when I pray for a lot of people, instant healing. There was one guy I was praying for his neck. He hasn't used his neck. He hasn't let his hand off his neck for two years. While I was praying for him, the Holy Ghost was fixing his neck. He felt fire around his neck. Before you know, he didn't need his hand to support his neck again. Instantly, he felt like something was born in around. That was the Holy Ghost. That was the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the one that does the work. You have it inside of you. You have him inside of you. Tell him to fight for you. Don't let him just stay there. Use him. Tell him to do what he came for. God did not give you the Holy Ghost for him to go sleep inside of you. The Holy Spirit never sleeps. One day the Holy Spirit told me. He said, do you know that I can talk 24 hours of the day? Because if I'm preaching to somebody, like on my prayer line, I can be talking to them for 13 hours. I'm still talking. Because the Holy Spirit never stops. He keeps talking. But most of you have the Holy Ghost, but it's just mute. You don't even acknowledge him. You don't even know you have him. You don't even tell him to do anything. You even grieve him by sinning. Anyone that wants a prayer point tonight. You will pray for yourself. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. And you will believe that it's done. Now if you cannot play, pray for yourself. It means you don't have faith. It means no matter who prays for you, it's not going to work anyways. Why do you think we all have the Holy Ghost? The same Holy Ghost you have is the same one I have. Yours is not bigger than mine. Yours is not stronger than mine. It's one Holy Ghost. It's one God. It's one Jesus. Everybody, type this. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Just type it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. For fighting my battles. He is fighting for some of you. Some of you. Oh, you will get a phone call. Something has happened. Some of you. Ah, you will have testimonies. Oh, Santehe. 
miracles. He is doing things in your life because you have asked him to fight for you. Remember you prayed that prayer. You said he should fight for you. He's doing it. Do you know when I tell you to pray? For the Holy Ghost to take over you right now. Before you know it. You start to feel something. Even on the prayer line. I told them to pray to be drunk in the Holy Ghost. Before you know it. People were already texting me saying they were drunk in the Holy Ghost. Whatever you ask him to do. He will do it. You're just afraid to ask him. Or you're just never wanting to ask him. Even God asked him. He said let there be light. And boom, he there was light. Hey, Korade Goso. He is the power. He is the power. He is the one that Jesus is saying, I have given unto you power. What power do you think he was talking about? Power of God. What is power of God? The Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. I love you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Jesus. One of my favorite scriptures that I like. 1 Corinthians 4.20. The King James Version. It says, For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. The New Living Translation says, For the kingdom of God is not just a lot of talk. It is living by God's power. NIV says, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of talking, but of power. The reason why a lot of you guys believe that God is using me is because of the power of God in my life. It's because of all these testimonies that you are seeing. It's because of everything that you experience when you're watching my video. If there was nothing like that, you would think I'm just here coming and talking. But you have experienced things. You have heard things. You have seen things because of the power of God in my life. Because of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Ghost. And that's why you believe. And that is why you are still watching. If there was no power and all I was doing was talking, talking, talking. Nobody was getting healed. Nobody was getting miracle. Guess what? You would not be here watching me. Because you would be like, she's just talking. Jesus Christ did not come here just talking, talking, talking. Jesus Christ was... Casting out demons. He was doing things. He even raised the dead. If Jesus Christ had come and was just full of talk. And no power. Let me tell you. Nobody would have followed Jesus Christ. It says. The kingdom of God is not in word. But in power. First Corinthians 4.20 Where do you think that power comes from? The Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. Type this again. Holy Ghost, fight my battles for me. This is it. Fight my battles for me in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fight my battles for me in the name of Jesus. Fight my battles for me. Have you been trying to fight by yourself? You don't have any power, y'all. You have to invite the Holy Ghost to fight for you. He is the one that gives you that power that you need. Ka. You need to understand what the Holy Ghost really does. Not only does he teach you things. Not only is he your comforter. Not only is he your advocate. He is the one that gives you the power that you need. I wanted to read about Jesus Christ. And how Jesus was filled with the Holy Ghost. How Jesus did not do anything without the help of the Holy Ghost. So if Jesus relied on the Holy Ghost to help him, to give him power that he needed, why can't we ask for power? Why can't we use it? Why can't we use the power of the Holy Ghost? Why are we always running to pastors to pray for us? When we are filled with the Holy Ghost, we have the power, the power source in us. We have power, but we are going to look for power. But power lives inside of us, but we are going everywhere looking for power. How can you do that when you have power living inside of you? Something is wrong with that picture. Don't you think so? Everybody that wants to give their life to God. Because I want you to be filled with the Holy Ghost before the end of this video. Say this prayer with me. If you're not sure if you've made peace with God, just say it just in case. So I can pray for you to be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. And you will experience something before you leave this video. They always do. Because God is a spirit. He's everywhere. 
He's there with you right now. He's just waiting for you to say this prayer so he can take over you right now. Say this prayer after me. Father Lord, I come into your presence as a sinner. I confess my sins. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better. I am not going back to my old ways. I believe that Jesus Christ came and died for me on the cross of Calvary. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Be the Lord over my life. I promise to serve you forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are saved. You are saved. Now the Holy Spirit is ready to take over you. All of you that said this prayer, receive the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Receive power in the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost will come over you. Take it right now in the name of Jesus. If you want to speak in tongues, ask God. Say, Lord, I want to speak in tongues. Start to pray that prayer. For one minute, I will let you pray. Tell God you want to speak in tongues so you can be able to pray. When I got filled with the Holy Ghost, I started speaking in tongues. I spoke in tongues for hours before I could only pray for five, ten minutes. But when I got filled with the Holy Ghost and I started speaking in tongues, I spoke in tongues for hours. At one point, I couldn't stop my tongue from rolling. So you need to be able to pray in tongues. It works hand in hand. Some people are filled with the Holy Ghost. They don't speak in tongues. It's okay. But it works way better when you can speak in tongues and you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Ha! Everybody watching me that wants to be filled with the Holy Ghost. That wants to be filled with, filled with the Holy Ghost. That wants to speak in tongues. I'm sorry. I'm praying for you. I'm getting a lot of people send me messages. Because we've been fasting and praying. So we have a lot of people doing it. Ha! Ah, it's powerful. Some people already started telling me their text testimonies. I'm going to see if I can read it. But I have to go in one hour because we have prayer coming up so hopefully I'll be done before then I want to pray for you Father Lord anybody that I pray to be able to speak in tongues give them this gift oh God in the name of Jesus so they can pray for hours and fellowship with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus receive the gift of tongues wherever you are receive it right now in the name of Jesus now I want you to speak in tongues by faith Everything we do is by faith. We being believers is by faith. We believe. That's why things happen. You have to believe that you can speak in tongues today. And you will speak in tongues. But if you doubt, no matter how much I pray, it's not going to happen. Start to speak in tongues by faith. Do ba 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 la 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 sha ga 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 ra ba 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 to pa ba 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 la 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 Those do whatever comes to you right now. Do it. Do it for one minute. Everybody else, begin to speak in tongues. Everybody else, begin to speak in tongues. 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 Pa pa de ba 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 ba. Se te de bo se te de de. Ka 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 de ka 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 ra. The Holy Spirit is coming over you. He will be so strong. Some of you will fall under the anointing. I said that today on my prayer line. They thought I was praying. So I was playing. Somebody testified. I even posted it. She fell on the floor after anointing her children. The power was so strong. She said she was rolling on the floor. I didn't touch her physically. The Holy Spirit did it. The Holy Ghost, the power of God, He did it. Oh, Jesus. The power is so strong. You have to believe. You have to believe. You have to believe. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Speak in tongues. All of you, be drunk in the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Because the Holy Ghost is going to fight your battles. Now begin to ask him. All of you are filled with the Holy Ghost now. You have to believe that you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Don't doubt. Believe. Tell him now. Holy Ghost, please fight my battles for me. In the name of Jesus. Fight my battles for me. In the name of Jesus. Change my story. In the name of Jesus. Restore my marriage. In the name of Jesus. Give me my green card. In the name of Jesus. Give me my, my new job. In the name of Jesus. Give me financial breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. What is it that you Want. Begin to ask her. Begin to ask her. Begin to ask her. Pe ba 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 se te re re re. Ko se ken de re mo sa kan tan de re. Begin to ask for what you want. Begin to ask for what you want. What do you want? What do you want the Holy Ghost to do for you? Ask, ask, ask. 
Say, pa, pa, ha. Is there a witch that needs to die that has been tormenting you for years? Holy Ghost, go and arrest that witch in the name of Jesus. Hey, pare, is there something that they have buried in your compound? Holy Ghost, dig it out for me in the name of Jesus. We have had testimonies. It's happened. What is it that you want? Ask. And he will do it. He's at your service. You are living a holy life. So why would he do it for you? Ask. He's at your service. He was sent to help you. What do you think helping is? Helping means helping you fight your battles. He is the power of God. Don't worry. When you are filled with the Holy Ghost, sometimes you start acting a certain way. People will say, oh, is she crazy? They can say whatever, but all you know is your fight, your battles are being fought. They can say whatever they want, but God is taking care of you. The Holy Ghost is fighting for you. The Holy Ghost is taking care of things in your life. The Holy Ghost is teaching you how to love Jesus. The Holy Ghost is teaching you how to live a holy life. The Holy Ghost is teaching you how to be a child of God. The Holy Ghost is teaching you to stay away from sin. The Holy Ghost is walking you into your destiny. He is leading you into your destiny. He is leading you into the path that God wants you to go. So don't listen to nobody. They don't know the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ said, the world does not recognize the Holy Ghost because the world is not looking for it. The world cannot receive it. So they will make fun of us because they don't know who the Holy Ghost is. Nah. Hey. Holy Ghost, fight my battles. A lot of you will testify. A lot of you, at least 70 of you will have a testimony. After this prayer that you have prayed. You prayed for yourself. I didn't pray for you. You just prayed with the help of the Holy Ghost. And in the name of Jesus. You said fight my battles for me. In the name of Jesus. And it's going to happen. That's to tell you the power that you have. Stop running around people to pray for you. When you have the power. The main power inside of you. You have the power. Use it. Oh Jesus. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. Everybody type this. Say, I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. Therefore you have power. To tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall my enemies hurt you. Nothing. Nothing. So if something is hurting you, that means you haven't started using the power that you have. You have to change that. You have to change that. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. That's right. You need to walk around your house and speak in tongues and tell yourself, I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. Speak the tongue that you've never spoken before. All of you receive new tongues right now. In the name of Jesus, receive some fresh new tongues, powerful tongues. In the name of Jesus, your tongues are fire. When you speak in tongues, you are speaking fire. That kind of old sata. Receive new tongues. In the name of Jesus. All of you are being empowered tonight. All of you are receiving power tonight. You are being empowered. A refill of the Holy Ghost for those that are already filled with the Holy Ghost. Receive it. Receive a fresh anointing. Fresh fire. Power in the name of Jesus. Some of you feel like you have power. Somebody sent a testimony today. When we were praying on the prayer line at 12 o'clock. The Holy Spirit told me that there's a, there's a Holy Ghost explosion happening right now. And she said the moment she heard that, she was about to take a nap. All of a sudden, she couldn't stop speaking in tongues. And all of a sudden, she felt like she got power to fight any enemy. I don't know if I posted that on Facebook. I think I did, yes. It's on my wall. Holy Ghost explosion is taking place right now. All of you, receive a Holy Ghost explosion. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. You need to invite somebody. You need to share this video. Somebody needs to be empowered tonight. Somebody needs the help of the Holy Ghost to fight their battles. Do you know how many people the devil has put in cages? Do you know how many people the devil has put in bondage? He hates it when you watch this kind of things. He doesn't want you to know you're right. 
He wants you to suffer till you die. But today, I say no, no more suffering because the Holy Ghost is taking over your battles in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rate de Santa. Oh, Rakete de Bosota. Rabba Shenga Torande de Bosata. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Rege de Rabba Sonte Nene. A lot of you have received new tongues. If you notice your tongue has changed, begin to type it. He's telling me so clearly that some of you received new tongues already. And some new members, you already started speaking in tongues. Begin to type it if you have. Give glory to God. Let people see the power of God. Some of you are feeling some kind of strong anointing come over you. Tell us how you are feeling. The power of the Holy Ghost is moving through every one of you. Tell us how you are feeling. Don't hide it. Give glory to God. Let people know the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of God. Ha! Repa shekata neba sonte get ne debo sonta ha. Shani say I have. I have. Explain what you have. Let us know what we are, you're talking about. Some of you feel fire in your bones, like fire, like you are hot all of a sudden. The house is cold, but you are so hot inside. Some of you feel goosebumps all over you. You got a baba 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 baba. Sekete de bobo sota la la la. Shaka de de bobo bobo sante de de bobo sante de de. Red de bobo shaka de rambo sante la la. Some of you feel a peace all of a sudden. Somebody say I'm feeling like I am drunk. Akelo, Eunice, God bless you. You are drunk in the Holy Ghost. Kwanje say I feel. Hot Krabasun Tedede. Stella says I feel like sleeping. Somebody says I feel fire in my legs, Princess Stella. God bless you. Harebo so Moho say I speak a new tongue and I feel hot. Sarebo so tara. Augustina says I feel fire all over my body. Temi says she's speaking in new tongues. Min Chop Geraldine says she's feeling hot. Look at all these people. I am telling you, the Holy Spirit never lies to me. Andrea says she feels relaxing. She's feeling at peace all of a sudden. Judy says, I have new tongues. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit fire. Hallelujah. Don't stop speaking in tongues, all of you. Keep speaking in tongues. Somebody say, I feel happy. Somebody says, fire on my left side. Adama says, fire on my left side. The Holy Spirit is here. He is with you. He just wanted you to speak the word so he can take charge. Give him charge. And see what will happen in your life. Ah. Somebody says, I have started speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Regina swung in. This is her first time. She said, I have started speaking in tongues and I feel hot in my back. Praise the Lord. Somebody just got the gift of tongues. He told me a lot of you got the gift of tongues. Some people may not want to post it. But the one that I posted it, God bless you. Somebody say, I felt my legs shaking and I feel heat. Hallelujah. Chelsea, I was speaking and I bopped and I spit up some stuff. Thank you. Wow. She vomited something. You just got delivered. God bless you. Vicky says, I'm feeling warm all over. Hallelujah. Hey. If he says, oh my God, I felt a great wave and he kept moving me around the house. Hallelujah. She was moving all over the house, falling under the anointing. I told you guys that some of you will feel the anointing. You will fall under the anointing. A wave was moving around the house. Holy Ghost, fight our battles for us. Some people can't stop speaking in tongues. Sandra says, I feel hot on my back. And the AC is on. For some reason, I feel like throwing up. Throw up! The Holy Ghost is fighting your battles. Some of your battles is for you to throw up whatever the devil has put in your body. That is number one battle inside your body. He is cleansing you. So if you feel like vomiting, all of you, vomit. You have asked him to fight your battles. That's what he is doing. You prayed for yourself. I didn't pray for you. Speak in tongues, everybody. You have the power. You have the power inside of you. Tell the Holy Ghost to fight your battles. Speak in tongues. Deliverance is taking place. Oh, ba 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 ba. Reba sete ne debo sonta na 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 na. Hey, Margarita says I feel hot in my whole body. Fire, fire. You are feeling fire in your bones. Ke ge 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 ge. Odessa said no more tears. Weight lifted. Hallelujah. Papa reba ba ba sete ne ne ne. Oh, Ike says I'm speaking in tongues. God bless. 
Hallelujah. Bless you. Kirababa sonte de de de. Oh, ke 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 ke. Somebody say I'm feeling very heavy inside. Thank you, Lord. Kara ha ha ha. Somebody says she can't stop speaking in tongues. Shani says she's drunk in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Look at all that. Everybody's feeling something. Judy says I'm just crying and giving thanks to Jesus. Hallelujah. Pare ka sote ne pola de de bo sote na gadoho. We are fasting for three days. You need to join us. A lot of us are so sensitive in the spirit. We haven't eaten. Some people have drank water, but we have not eaten. We're not going to eat for three days. Some people are doing six to six. God bless them too. When you stay away from food, you will be able to pray more. Your spirit man will be active. Your flesh will be weak. Sometimes you eat so much. Oh, somebody say, oh my God, I'm here at work speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Regara, she is shot. Hope will say she too. She's speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Kegegegege. Somebody say I have started speaking in tongues. I started counting and moving funny. Joan says she started speaking in tongues. We have so many new people speaking in tongues for the first time. Hallelujah. You guys are seeing this happen right in front of you. I didn't come to touch them. It was the Holy Ghost, the power that I'm telling you of, the power of God that moved through them. Oh, look at somebody else says. Malavia says she's speaking new. She's speaking new language today for the first time. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God bless you all for putting out your comments. Do you know when you write your comments, you're showing the whole world how powerful our God is, and God is blessing you for that comment. God doesn't like it when you hide testimonies because He knows that it's through your testimonies that other people can believe that He is working. Ha! Somebody say I'm on my toes. Somebody say she's still speaking in tongues. Ah! Day, 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 day. Somebody says something now is taking place like keep yawning while speaking. The Holy Ghost, you cannot be watching this video and not feeling something. Then something is wrong. God and his angels are here. Jesus is here. The Holy Spirit is here. So there's no way you will be watching this video and you won't feel it. See, they tell me to come online. They are the ones that tell me to come online. And they do the work. I'm just the vessel that they use. I'm just the messenger. I just come and they work. They are working on their li- every one of you. Karaba Sota, fighting your battles for ya. Hey, la baba Sota, na 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 na. The chains are falling. The chains are falling. The chains are falling. The Holy Ghost is breaking every chain in your life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, raha Sonte de ba Sonte de de Oh, Jesus. He gives me so much power. Can you believe that I haven't eaten today? And we've had three sessions of prayer. I think it's three or four. We prayed for one hour, over one hour. Not only that, I've done my own private prayer and private worship, but I'm still strong. Somebody says she's singing in strange words and she just started speaking in tongues today. She's already singing in tongues. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Rapale kare bobo bobo se te de 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 de. Ran te de bobo bobo se te da 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 da. Oh ba 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 ba. Somebody is so hot. She went on the floor and she said the floor is not cooling her down. That's fire in your bones. 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 Fire in your bones. Fire in your bones. All of you receive fire in your bones. You will suddenly begin to feel hot. You will have the AC on, but you are hot inside. Somebody say, I feel like I got to throw up. Throw up. Deliverance is taking place in your body. The Holy Ghost is fighting for you. Whatever they put in your body needs to come out. Go and throw up and you will feel relieved. Odessa says, ears is so hot. Princess say, my leg is still hot. Hallelujah. Fire! He's telling you that he's there. Do you know you are getting more anointing as you're feeling these things? You are getting more power, more fire, anointed. Nobody can come and try you anymore. Any evil that comes around you shall be destroyed by that fire that you feel in the name of Jesus. Patience say I'm on fire right now. God, praise the Lord. You guys are reading these comments. Am I the only one seeing it? People are telling you how they are feeling. God is moving. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever you ask in the name of Jesus, He will do it for you. Somebody said, My inside body is on fire. That's how I feel right now. I feel that all the time. I pray you feel that all the time. 
That's anointed. Steady flow of anointed. That's the Holy Ghost telling you, I am here. I am on fire. I am ready. Tell me what you want me to do. Kasakla pro se. Somebody say, I can't stop speaking in tongues and I am really hot. Hey! Somebody say, I was at work today. I'm very tired. I watched one of your videos on my break and prayed in tongues and asked the Holy Ghost to take over. I was so refreshed and strengthened. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is always in my videos. Even if I finish doing it, it doesn't mean the power of God is no longer there. It is still there. If you watch it later when I'm done, you will still feel the power. Somebody says, I feel cool. Oh, Jesus. Thank you so much. Oh, I have scriptures to read. I have scriptures to read. But the power is so strong on me right now. I don't know if I can read anything right now. If I don't finish this, I will do a part two tomorrow. Because the power is so strong. My legs are numb. Tamel says, God is here. God is here. Alford says, I feel hot. Somebody say, I feel like I just had a, have a bath. I feel hot. Make sure you invite somebody. Somebody that you want to feel the power of God. Do you know some people have never felt what you're feeling? They don't even know what you're feeling. They don't even believe what we're saying. They think we are making it up. Bring them on. Let them come feel it. There was one lady that said she did not believe in tongues. She did not believe in the testimony that I was posting on my page. So one day I had a prayer line. We were doing a fasting. And she said she just wanted to call in to see how this prayer line is going. But she didn't believe in anything. The moment she called into the prayer line, the Holy Ghost arrested her. For the first time in her life, she started to speak in tongues. She did not know what was happening. The Holy Spirit showed her his power. She started to speak in tongues. I posted her testimony on my wall. She said, oh my God, I never believed anything you were posting until I call, called into your prayer line. And now I'm speaking in tongues. I don't know how this happened. I just called in and I started speaking in, speaking this language. Somebody say, I'm feeling dizzy and peaceful inside me. I'm very happy inside me that I cannot explain. Hallelujah. Joy from heaven has taken over you. Karebobo Sotaha. Somebody say, I feel good. Thanks be to God. I see you inviting your friends. Keep inviting them. Somebody. Karebobo Sota. Somebody say, I feel like all my problems are over. Yes, they are over. If you believe they are over, they are over because you asked the Holy Ghost to take over. You told him to fight for you. So, of course, he is the one giving you that assurance that your problems are over. When you feel that feeling, it is the Holy Ghost telling you, don't worry, relax. It's taken care of. It's done. It's done. All of you type this. My problems are over. My problems are over in the name of Jesus. Say it. My problems are over in the name of Jesus. My problems are over in the name of Jesus. My problems are over in the name of Jesus. Ha! Oh, I feel good. I feel so good. I feel so good. I feel so good. I feel so good. My problems are over in the name of Jesus. That's right. They are over. Anyone that tries to bring problems, they will be fighting with the Holy Ghost, not you. Because the Holy Ghost is fighting your battles for you. So anyone bringing problems to you is only going to end up fighting with the Holy Ghost. And you know they can't win the Holy Ghost. So you know what will happen to them. They will be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I feel so good. Oh, Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. I have some scriptures. I'm going to try and read some scriptures. Otherwise, I'm going to have to continue tomorrow. The power is so strong. The power is so strong on me. Na 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 Santa na na na. I'm going to read Luke chapter 4 verse 1 down. I'm reading the NLT version. I'm reading the NLT version. Pay attention everybody. Can you guys hear me clear or should I lower this music? I think I should lower it a little more so I can read. 
Ah, can you guys still hear? Oh, the song. I like the song. The Holy Spirit picked that song for me. Okay, hey, 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 because the chains are falling. The chains are falling. Whatever chain that they've used to tie you down, it's falling in the name of Jesus. How are you all feeling? Just tell me how you're feeling before I read the scripture. How are you feeling? Are you feeling good? How are you feeling? How do you feel? Some of you feel drunk in the spirit. Some of you feel good. Some of you feel sleepy. Some of you are laughing. Some of you just feel at peace all of a sudden. Kareba sonte nega handura hasete he. Krosokaha. Somebody say, I feel awesome and warm. God bless you, Kanje. Somebody say, I feel hot. That's good. Fire. That fire, if you lay your hands on somebody right now, you that is feeling so hot, something is going to happen. Lay your hands on your kids, on your daughters. Go pray for them. Lay your hands on your kids. You, Sandra, go pray for your children. As you feel that heat in you, lay hands and declare good things upon your children. Prophesy good things into their life. Karebo Sotaha. Somebody say, I'm feeling calm. I feel great. I feel hot. I feel good and hot. I feel delivered. Peace of God. Everybody is feeling good and peaceful. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, my eyes are brighter. Adeline says, I feel calm. Somebody say, my legs are a little bit hot now. Holy Ghost, fight my finances in Jesus' name. Amen. Great and peaceful. Somebody say, they feel relaxed and at peace with my God. That's right. I feel so much at peace. You guys hear peace, peace, peace. All of you are feeling peaceful. You have received peace from heaven, everlasting peace, and so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, you shall be at peace always, not just on this video, all the time, in Jesus' name. I see a lot of people saying they are feeling at peace. Hallelujah. I feel it too. I feel a, a, a certain peace that came over me. But my legs are numb. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You know what? You know what? Karabasunta, God wants to speak to you guys. Everybody, no noise. God says he's speaking to some of you right now. Be quiet. Focus on Jesus. Whatever picture you have of Jesus, focus on that picture. If you have to smile, but close your eyes so you're not distracted, you will hear a message, a word. God will give you a word. Type what you hear. Everybody. Type it. I hear I love you. I love you. That's what I hear. I love you. I even see it. He spelled it out. Capital letter I L O V E U Y O U. He said, I have given you everlasting peace. I am giving you joy from heaven. He said, I am fighting your battles. Somebody, he says, your life has been dragging. It's like you try to go forward, but they are pulling you backward. He says he is pushing you faster now. You are going to go in speed. Everything you have lost, you will recover. The speed that you are going to go in, even you will be amazed. Your promotions, everything you have missed, you will get it right now. In the name of Jesus. You guys are all hearing something. I need to read it. Oh, look at that. I wasn't even looking. Type what you heard. Because he said he's speaking. He told me to pause the music so he can speak. He can speak. He can speak. He can speak. He's speaking. He's speaking to you guys. Somebody said they hear peace be still. I can say she hear peace be unto you. Hey, Jesus, as you're saying this, as I'm reading it, goosebumps is coming all over me. Adama hears restoration. See, she's in the spirit because I heard restoration. He says he's restoring. Ke -ke -ke Odessa says, I hear, do not be afraid. Chelsea says, yeah, I love you. She heard, I love you too. Malvia heard victory. Ke -ke -ke -ra -ba 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 -ba. Kwanje say, I heard, I have given you what you asked for. See, God is speaking to you guys. 
Hey, Regina said, he said it is over. Hallelujah. And he says, I hear, I will do what only I can do. Somebody say, she hear, trust me. Shani says, she hear, confirmation. Della says, she hear, blessings upon blessing. Chelsea says, she hear, go. Augustina says she hear blessings. Patience says she hear peace unto you, says the Lord. Ah, Agneta says she hear restored in the name of Jesus. Temi says she hear love. My arms are around you. I see Jesus standing and watching me. Hallelujah. Somebody says she hear release. Somebody says she hear his Lord. Somebody says you hear your problems are over. Like, look at you, all of you hearing from God. Kirabo Sonta. Rekete Ragata. Sani say I receive breakthrough. Chichi says she hears it is well with you. Hey, Amina says she here. I'm hearing, I'm seeing some new names. I'm hearing from God. Jesus, this is too powerful. Amina says I hear run with the vision. Keep focusing. He's speaking more and more. Hey, some of you will see. Your eyes will be open. You will see open visions right now. Amina says, I hear run with the vision. Andrea says, I love you. The same thing he said to me. Afford says, restoration. Everybody's hearing similar things. Hey, oh, somebody, Michelle says she hears, be the one I can send. Hallelujah. I told you guys today, if you are ready, that God is ready for you to work for him. I'm, t I'm glad he's telling you that. Oh, divine says, I hear it is well with my heart. Oh, this is so powerful. Jesus, schools bumps all over me as I'm reading this. The Holy Spirit is confirming what you guys are saying. Oh, Chelsea says, it says, go and do what I have commanded. Hallelujah. Wow. Judy says it is done. Look at you guys. Somebody says he is in control. Zawadi says she hears forgiveness. If the Holy Spirit, if God is telling you to forgive, then begin to forgive. Ah. Hey. Orahan terebo sota. Ragabasha terebo sota. Koba baba baba sante. Roterebo son de gatrahan terebo. Oh, Rakataha. Somebody says, I heard you are highly lifted up. Karebo sota. Somebody has me say, he says, cry no more. Stella says, your problem are over. I love you, Jesus. Andrea says, focus on him. Somebody say, restoration. Kira kahahaha. Oh, I.K. says, I am the Lord thy God. God is speaking expressly. I have to let God speak. Kira Erika says, my problem are over. Andrea says, give it to him. Oh, Della says, he says, put your trust in me only. Can you guys believe now that the Lord is speaking expressly? God speaks to you all the time. Kwanjay says, she hears, do not be afraid. I am always with you. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Vivian said, my son says he feels sleepy and awesome. That is his best song singing. Karaha. Somebody says, I hear deliverance. Somebody says, cry no more. Shani says, I give you back everything the devil has stolen from you. Restoration. Kira baba baba sata. I can say she hear healing, healing, healing. Kaka karagada. Alpha says, I hear, I want you to be happy. Kkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkk
Somebody say it is complete. Oh, da 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 da. Yakari kara kata da 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 da. Yakari kata da 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 da. Oh, somebody says, oh, papa rika kaka. It is well with you, my daughter. Somebody says, I love you. Somebody says, be obedient. Oh. Somebody says, your prayers have been answered. Hallelujah. Somebody says, peace, peace. Somebody says, I am waiting to receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost, Michelle, right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Everybody, just say, thank you, Jesus. 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 We're just going to worship till the end. Tomorrow, I will do part two of this message. Because the power is so strong, I have, I'm not going to read any more scriptures. I will save it for tomorrow, then maybe part three the next day. But this, this is not going to end today. The power is too strong. So just say, thank you, Jesus. I told you guys to get oil. We've anointed oil on the prayer line. But for the ones on Facebook, get your oil. I will anoint it maybe tomorrow or Saturday. Just get it. Get it. Get it. There's more people on Facebook than on the prayer line. We are fasting for three days. Join us. I'm posting the, the information to join us and pray. Even if you can't fast, still join us and pray. 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 Us and, pray. and you shall be blessed. God bless all of you that have been praying with us. Oh, you've been having several encounters. Oh, today the Holy Spirit told me all day. He was telling me to tell people to give an offering today, tomorrow, and next tomorrow. Everybody on the prayer line gave an offering. God bless you for everybody that gave an offering. He said, if I was doing this in church, they will give an offering. So that offering, it's not even about the amount. Some people gave $2. Some people gave $5. He doesn't care about the amount. It is the obedience for you to obey because he's about to do something in your life. So you that is watching me on Facebook, if you want to give an offering, send me a message so you can give an offering. It is not for me. It is for you. For the three days that we are fasting, today, tomorrow, and next. It doesn't matter how much, even if it's a dollar. God even likes it when you give from your heart. He's not worried about the amount. He's worried about your obedience. If you were in church and you were watching me in church, if this was a church, you will put offering in the offering box, right? That's what he's saying. Put an offering if you are led to. Do it. Send me a message after the video. I will tell you how to do it. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You will do it today, tomorrow, and on Saturday. Join us and fast. The fast in the title is, Oh Lord, please change my story. I told them how God changed my story. The first day of the fasting, the story I told them was how I went through living in a bed bug infested place. I had no money. I couldn't talk to nobody. I was thinking my life was over to becoming an evangelist, preaching and praying and people are being delivered. God changed my story. The Holy Spirit changed my story because the moment I got filled with the Holy Ghost, the next day I was on Facebook preaching. August 22nd of last year. I've only been doing this since August till now, maybe seven months or eight months. I've not been doing this for 10 years. I used to be a party girl, a promoter. So tell, tell me, don't, don't, don't doubt me when I tell you that God can, God can change your story. Don't let anybody deceive you. He can change it overnight. Just obey. You have been blessed. Some of you have never felt like this before. A lot of you started speaking in tongues for the first time. Some of you, somebody that started speaking in tongues, you've been looking for it for three years. I hear it so clearly. You've been trying to speak in tongues for over three years. You couldn't speak in tongues. You got on this video today. You spoke in tongues. You have to give God a thanksgiving offering. You have to thank God. It's not just about saying, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. You have to give a thanksgiving offering. Some of you, you don't pay your tithe. Go to your church, pay your tithe. Support your church. Support your man of God. I keep talking about this because there's people. They just watch Facebook stuff. They don't do anything in church. No, God wants that to change. There are things that some people will not tell you, but I will tell you. Because I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm not looking for anyone to like me. God likes me already. That's all that matters. I will tell you what the Spirit of God is telling me. I was telling them on the prayer line today. That the Holy Spirit was telling me that some people go to church for the wrong reasons. I went to my church. I started going to my church in August of last year. In two weeks in that church, I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I started speaking in tongues. I started preaching. I've only been there since August. 
and look at my life has changed. Some people started going to church way before me. Their life is still miserable. They are trying to sleep with the man of God. They are trying to cause confusion in church. They hate everybody in church. They talk about everything in church. They don't, they have the wrong reasons. They're going to church for the wrong reasons. God is saying that when you go to church, focus on God. Focus on God. Focus on the anointing. Listen to the word. Focus on the worship, the praise. Don't be looking for fault. If it's somebody, if somebody in the choir cannot sing so, the person is singing the way they can sing. God gave them the voice the way it is. They are singing with their heart to God and you are here judging them that they can't sing. How would you be anointed if all you do is judge people? Focus on God. Go there. I started going there August of two, August last year, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. In less than nine months, my life has changed. God changed my story because I went there on a mission. I went there to know God. I went there to be used by God. What are you going to church for? Are you going to be blessed? Are you going to be used? Or are you going to destroy? Are you going to be a caterpillar? Are you going to destroy the church? Are you going to make the man of God fall by tempting him to sin? What is your mission in church? When you go to church, that's right. James, God bless you, James. He said, God wants your focus. Don't turn to your left or right. Focus on God. When you are in church, stop looking around, looking for what to talk about. Focus on God. And before you know it, there's some people that will come to a church. Two, three months, they have already been ordained as pastors or whatever. You have been in that church five years. You're not growing spiritually. You're not receiving any anointing. You're not. You're just causing confusion. They are always settling quarrel with you and somebody in the church. You're always telling somebody, I don't like this lady in the church. But this person just came to church three months ago. The person is already holding the mic, leading the prayer, already anointed, praying for people and people are falling down. You, you still don't have no anointing because your focus is on the wrong thing. I am praying for deliverance for all of you watching me. From today, your focus will be on God when you go to church. In the name of Jesus. No more distraction. You will be a pillar and not a caterpillar. You will help build your church and not destroy your church. In the name of Jesus, you will pray for your man of God and not to sleep with your man of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Did you hear that prayer? If you're a woman, don't let the devil use you. Don't be tempting the man of God. Dress appropriately. Stop seducing him. Pray for him. Don't sleep with him. In the name of Jesus. I don't know who I'm speaking to. But stop going to church for the wrong reasons. That's why your blessings is not coming. That's why you are not anointed. That's why somebody else I just started going to church. Look at me. I just started. And look at me. God is using me so mightily. There's some people that have been going to church for 20 years. They can't even pray for a headache to go for themselves. But God uses me. God says I can even... Pray for the dead to rise because my focus is on him when I go to the church. When you go and you love people, when you go to church on Sunday, I want to challenge all of you. Hug somebody. Tell them you love them. Mean it. God wants brotherly love. You know the kind of love you have for your brother and your sister at home? That's the way you're supposed to love people in your church. Don't pretend to love people. Don't fake to love people. Mean it. Mean it. Love them. Do you know if your brother is hungry? You're going to make sure your brother eats. I mean your mom and dad's child. I mean your brother, your blood brother. So when you go to church and your brother needs help, they haven't paid their rent. They're about to kick them out. Why would you say, that's not my business. Pastor is going to take care of that. No, that's your brother. You will say, hey, brother, how can I help? And mean it. Help your brother. We all have one father. Forget about the father that you have in the house or the mother, that's a person you had to come through. But your real father is God. The real father is God. Be and you have one father. Our father is God. So me and you are brothers and sisters. So I have to be my brother's keeper. If my brother needs help, I have to help my brother. Even if I only have $50, I can share from that $50 with my brother. I don't have to wait till I win the lotto before all, before, till I get $1 million in my account before I help my brother. No, I will help my brother even if it's five dollars because i am my brother's keeper because i love my brother just as i love myself oh thank you holy spirit i am not the one speaking 
I don't know if you guys can tell when the Holy Spirit is speaking, but everybody here is guilty of this somehow. Even me, I have been guilty of this. I am not perfect. What? If anything, I have been through a lot, but the Holy Spirit teaches me, don't do it like this. Do it like that. Sometimes people piss you off in church and you just go off. And before you know, you've missed your blessing for that day. You didn't even focus on the message. You're just pissed off that whole day. You missed it. You're supposed to forgive easily. You're supposed to be ignored things. Those are distractions. The devil doesn't want you to be blessed. I got ordained on Sunday as an evangelist. I've only been in that church since August. I've only repented when? November of not this last year, the year before. I only got filled with the Holy Ghost since August. I'm already an evangelist. I've won thousands of souls. Every day I come online, I win souls. Even when I don't come online, I'm winning souls. There's no day that passes by that I don't win souls. Now I understand what Jesus meant when he says, my nourishment comes from doing the work of God. I haven't eaten all day today. I'm not announcing it because I want you to feel sorry for me. But I am full. I feel like I've eaten because I've been doing the work of God. I've been praying for people. I've been speaking in tongues. I've been reading the Bible. He wasn't lying. No wonder he was able to stay without food for 40 days and 40 nights. Some people... They can't do without food. It's the devil making you hungry all the time. Focus on God, the word, Jesus. And food will be far away from your mind. You will not be hungry all the time. Do you know when sometimes you eat so much, you wanted to pray in tongues for like one hour. The moment you go eat one big bowl of food, you can't even pray in tongues for two minutes. Before you know you're snoring. <sighs> what do you think that is? It's the devil. He didn't want you to pray. So he made you eat anyhow and you sleep in your sleep. They will not be beating you anyhow in your sleep because you can't even fight because you're so full. You can be filled with the Holy Ghost. You can tell God, fill me up this three days fast. I must do it. Food, you will be fine. In Africa, in some countries, some children don't see food for two weeks. They don't die. You see their bones showing. Some of them don't even see water to drink. They drink water from the ground. They don't die. But you, you eat 10 times a day. Well, but you want to eat. Oh, I can't fast though. I don't know if I can fast though. You know, I have to eat. Hey! If you can't fast, how did Jesus fast for 40 days and 40 nights? You're only asked to do three days. You can't do it. Don't you see the devil is working? Because he knows the kind of power that you're going to receive in three days. He knows what will happen in your life in three days. I am challenging all of you to join us in this three days fast. I am challenging all of you. Ask the people, actually the people that are fasting, can you tell them some of your experiences? Tell them if you like the fast or not. Let them read your comments. Type. I know a lot of you are watching. We have so many people doing it. We're going to be praying soon. Let me see what time it is. My laptop just went off on me. We're going to be praying pretty soon in a few minutes at 12 midnight, central time. I'm in Houston, so it's central time. We pray four times a day, 12 midnight, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., 6 p.m. It's 1130. In 30 minutes, we're going to be online praying, and we speak in tongues. So if you don't like to speak in tongues, I don't know if you're going to like it. We speak in tongues. We speak in the spirit language. Because we don't want the devil eavesdropping and listening to our prayers. Some of you, you pray, Father Lord, give me a job, please, in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is answering you. The God is listening to you. But guess what? There are also demons, listening ears, evil spirits, witches and wizards, listening to that prayer point. They will say, oh, she wants a job. Block that opportunity. But when I pray in tongues and I want a job, they don't know what I just prayed. Even me, I don't even know what I prayed, but I know the Holy Spirit got me. The Spirit got me. The Spirit is praying for me according to what I need. So I'm not even worried because I know the Spirit knows exactly what I need. They said the Bible says the Spirit makes intercessions for us. Meaning the spirit knows exactly what I need. So if I'm speaking in tongues, so I probably have already prayed for a job and a house, but the demon, the devil, the witches, the wizard, they don't know what I just asked for. They confused. They stay confused. Before you know it, boom, I have a house. Boom, I have a job. They were caught on our ass. So we speak in tongues. 
in Houston is 1131. We pray at 12, 29 more minutes. That's why I say I have to end. Just watch my page. When I post that we are on, get on. Right now is 1132, so 28 minutes from now we pray. We're praying at 12, 6, 12, 6. So now you know the time difference. Oh, Jesus, I'm, I'm going to play some worship songs. We'll worship. And then tomorrow I will continue with part two because I have scriptures that I have to read. Some really powerful scriptures. But there's no rush because you guys have already heard from God. You guys feel good. You guys are feel. Uh oh, somebody said, I don't, feel, I don't feel like eating even after 12 hours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're praying with us, you won't feel like eating. Oh, look at people are like testifying. Judy says, God has kept me and I have not been hungry. I feel strengthened and powerful. New tongues have taken over. I have never prayed in tongues so much. God is awesome. See, these are people on the prayer line. These are people on the prayer line. They are typing. They are, see, I'm not the one doing it. They are the ones typing. That's, that way you know that God is here. We've done seven days. We've done 12 days before. Three days is nothing if you've done that long before. Let's just worship the Lord, everybody, before I go. You know, I like this song. Everybody, just worship the Lord. Francisca say, I feel so hot. Yes, that's the fire. That's the fire in your bones. Worship the Lord. When we finish here, we'll go straight to the prayer line. And we'll continue. Midnight prayer. That's when some witches are gathering. We will scatter them. Holy Ghost will fight for us. Scatter the camp of the enemy. Repartable son. Ta -na -na -na. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I'm so happy. Kai. I'm so happy. I feel good. I feel so good. Yeah. I don't feel hungry. I haven't drank water. No food. If you can stay without food and water, fine. Otherwise, drink water. Somebody say, I'm not sleepy. I know, right? Even after we finish praying, you can keep speaking in tongues. Don't stop when we stop. Continue. Some people, they've been praying in tongues all day. They can't stop. Do you know what has happened in their life for praying in tongues for that long hours? When I first started, I would lock myself in this closet. I would pray in tongues. Oh, I would sleep off. I would get up from that closet, this small closet. I will continue praying in tongues. Oh, I will sleep again. I will get up. Oh. Riga ga 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 ga. Jessica said, My belly feels funny, like something wants to come out. Let it come out. Let it come out. Deliverance is taking place. Yahweh. God bless you all. I love you guys. We're gonna be praying online soon. On the on the line. Check I'm gonna post once I get off this video, check my page. I'll post the number and call it. If you can't be my friend on Facebook, just follow me so you can get my updates. Save the phone number to call in so you don't keep looking for it. Install the app if you're out of the country. If you're not in America, install the app and follow the instruction. Oh. Tamel says, only when I watch your video, I feel so hot because the power of God is here. That's the Holy Ghost. God bless you, Tamel. I pray that you will feel the Holy Ghost wherever you go from now on in the name of Jesus. And we worship you, Lord. Come on, everybody. Sing Yahweh. 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 I am filled with the Holy Ghost. My videos, everything I do, the Holy Ghost takes over. I let the Holy Ghost lead me. I never write anything down on my prayer line. No. Everything I say is what the Father is telling me to say. I'm kind of like the way Jesus was saying in the Bible. I am only telling you what God is telling me to tell you. Some of you may not believe this, but some of you do. I don't know how long it will take you to start to believe what I'm telling you. God will soon use a lot of you here. A lot of you will be used by God. And he will put his words in your mouth. And he will give you power. Ta-da! ta some of you came on this video sick, but you are feeling well. You are healed. You are healed. In fact, you forgot that you had headache. You forgot that you had a pain somewhere. All of a sudden, you don't even remember that you came on here feeling somehow. You feel so good. Some of you had something bothering you. You're not even worried about it anymore. You forgot about it. <laughs> That's the power of God. Whatever say terrible Santa ha. Holy Kaleha. I love you, Jesus. 
Johan says, I wish you can come to Guyana. Gu Guyan? Do I say it right? Gu Guyana? You are my sister in Christ. Don't worry. As the Spirit leads, if God says go there, I will go there. Anything He tells me to do, I do. Because I work for Him. I work with Him. I can't disobey what He's telling me to do. I don't work for myself. Just like Jesus came and was doing the work of His Father. God was employing him to do things. He was working with God. There's this one angel that I see here. He's like, he's always here. He's the one I saw one day walking into my closet. I see him all the time. Just standing here telling me I am here. So tall. So big. All of you. God will open your eyes so you can see your angels surrounding you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody's like, yeah, right. She doesn't see angels. You don't have to believe me. I don't care if you believe or not. <laughs> There's no time to be proving things to people. The ones that believe, believe. Yahweh. Somebody, you have a rebellious spirit. I cast that spirit out of you right now in the name of Jesus. Submit yourself unto the Lord. You are nobody without Jesus. Today the Holy Spirit was speaking to me expressly. He said, some people they think they are so popular, they are so famous. He said they are famous but they don't have Jesus. That they are only notorious in the sight of God. I have to go look for the meaning of notorious in the dictionary. It said, to be known for something bad. Meaning, you may be famous in the world. They may all like you. But in the sight of God, you are a sinner. He doesn't even know you. You are just notorious. You want to be famous in the Lord. Yeah. Once you are famous, doing the things of God. Like what I'm doing now. Angels are celebrating me. Heaven is celebrating me. Heaven is always ready. Whenever I come online, why do you think you feel all these things? They come online with me. And I'm not just famous here. I'm not just known here. I am also known in heaven. A lot of you have had dreams where you've seen God tell you that I am his child. Do what I tell you. Right? It means God knows me in heaven. He sees my work. He loves me. So you want to be famous for doing the things of God. Not famous for doing the things of the devil. That's only a worldly kind of fame that will not take you anywhere. Lion of Judah. We bow down and we worship you, Lord. Yeah. Oh, I like the way we speak in tongues on the prayer line. Everybody's on fire. Some of their tongues are like... Man, when you hear all these people speaking in tongues together, it makes you want to speak in tongues. Am I right? Who else is on the prayer line with us? When you hear everybody speaking in tongues, how does it make you feel? Makes you want to bust into tongues. Before you know, you are speaking in tongues too. Rekedebo sante gederagada. Rashagadebra sonte nenebe. Randebo sante nanana. Rapalebo sante nanana. Oh, ba 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 ba! Somebody say, please visit Yangon. Where is that? I never heard of that. Karaba something in the Oh, ra ba 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 say it in the Oh, I love you, Jesus. I'm gonna continue about Holy Ghost fight my battles tomorrow. If we don't finish it tomorrow, we'll do it again until we finish it. A lot of you will have testimonies, cause. The Holy Ghost is fighting your battle. Somebody's asking for who sang this song. Can somebody type the name of the person that sang this song, please? Somebody says she hear the angels speaking in tongues with us on the prayer line. Yes, I hear them too. I thought I was the only one that hear them. God bless you, Adama. Mighty man of war. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. We bow down. And we worship you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody just typed the name. 
of the singer and the title of the song. Yeah, they're telling you the name. Give me the, give me Salmis. Give me the Salmis. This song is powerful. I love it. A lot of you have been messaging me that you love it. Somebody that is watching, she said whenever the song comes on, she can't control herself. It's anointed. Don't forget, if you want to do the offering daily for three days, send me a message. You can send offering on Facebook. There's a reason the Holy Spirit gave me this instruction. I don't know why. He said it doesn't matter how much. It could be a dollar. It could be two dollars. Just obey for three days. I pray that you will obey. I pray that you're not one of those people that will be like, Oh, she just wants my money. Please. God takes care of me. You saw a testimony I posted. Somebody had even do anything i just prayed for miracle money she got miracle money sent a thousand dollars to me i didn't even know she was gonna send that she said god told her to do it she was restless until she did it that wasn't me i didn't talk to her to do it so if he says do offering obey there's a reason Yahweh. Somebody says she wants me to place the song on my page. I will do that for your sake. Because I love you. I will share that video of this song on my wall after this video. So you can listen and be blessed. Alright, I gotta go and get ready. We have to get on our prayer line right now. It's 11.43. We start at 12, but you can log in early. Because I'm logging in right now too. God bless you for watching. I know you are all... <laughs> Somebody say, how can I give my offering? Send me a message. On Facebook Messenger, there's a way you can send money on Facebook. It's very quick. Just send me a message. I'll tell you what to do. I want to go, but I can't. I'm trying to go, but I can't. <laughs> Come and do what only you can do. check my wall for the info of the prayer line I'm about to post it or somebody can post it on here somebody can post the prayer line info on here somebody say what's my name on Facebook you're watching my video you should be able to know my name the number to the prayer line is gonna be on my page please Unless if one of my followers can post it. They just posted my name on Facebook. God bless you all for helping out. Send me a friend request. Send me a friend request. Follow me on Facebook. Yahweh! A lot of people are asking for this number. Let me just see if I can pull it up for you guys. Come and do what only you can do. Yahweh! 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 I'm trying to see if I can do this while you're here. If I can read... I'm just so happy. I don't know. I feel full. It's like the Holy Spirit just fed me all of a sudden. I feel so full. Does anybody else feel full? The people fasting with us? I feel full. Like I just ate. Okay. So if you're in, the, if you're in America, the prayer line number is 641-715. Let me lower this music a little bit. If you live in America, the prayer line number is 641-715-3580. 641-715-3580. It will ask you for an access code. Access code is 234-521 and then the pound sign. You know what the pound sign is, right? Now, if you use T-Mobile or Metro PCS, they're going to charge you if you dial that 641 number. So for you to avoid not being charged, because a lot of people use T-Bubble. 
you dial 857-957-1143 before you dial the 641 number. This info will be on my page. Now, if you live out of the country, you install the app, you download the app, the free conference call app. Go to your Play Store and look for that app. Once you download it, there's a link that you have to click. That's why you need to watch on my page. I'm about to post it right now. Hey, I have to let you guys go so I can post all this info. Share the video so you can have my info and you can add me on Facebook. I see a lot of friend requests coming in. God bless you guys. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Woman of God, yesterday I welcomed my granddaughter and my grandson. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pray for strength for the babies. I pray for God to bless your children. I pray for his strength. I pray for protection in the name of Jesus. God bless you guys. I have to go. Bye-bye. Yeah.